hello and welcome to this Microsoft SQL Server video tutorial in this video I'm gonna show us how to create a table and insert values into that table with a data set coming from Microsoft Excel so let's get started first let's head over to Excel and see the data set we want to insert now in Excel we have this data set it contains the ID, date, payment, account manager, brand, unit, price, and the total columns. And of course, it contains 300 rows, excluding the headings in row number one. And in this column I, I have prepared the data set in the right convention to insert into the insert statement of SQL Server. So let's go ahead to our SQL Server Management Studio and create and insert values into the table. Now, basically, we're going to use this F transaction database, and we have used that as the right database. So to create our table, all you need to do is to type create table and of course you need to give name for your table so i'm going to call this one sales data now we need the number of columns and the appropriate data type so the first column will be and it's going to be integer comma so we're going to use what's called order date so this is like a modification order date and this is going to be um, date time data type comma and the next column is um, payment and it's going to be you know varchar and it can have as much as 50 in the length and the next is going to be account manager column and it's going to be a varchar data type and with maximum of 100 color type length comma so the next column will be brand and Going to be Valkar also with maximum of 25 in length, comma, and of course we have a unit, and this is going to be float data type, comma, we need price, it's going to be float also, and finally we need the total column, and I'm going to call this one money data type, so I can close and Put in a semicolon to terminate the statement. So these are all the columns we need: ID, order date, payment, account manager, brand, unit, price, and total. Now I can just select the statement and click on execute or deploy F5, and we can see that it has been completed successfully. So when we right click on the data database and click on refresh. We can see the table here. We can see dbo.sysdata. Now let's just you know fetch using select all from sales data table and execute. We can see that we have all the columns right, but we need to insert data into the column. And now to do that, we're gonna type in insert statement. We're gonna say insert into sales data table and of course we need to line up the columns now the first column is id comma followed by order date comma followed by payment comma followed by account manager um, brands unit comma price and total columns so i can close the parentheses and of course we want to insert values and now let's go to Excel and copy the values. I'm going to control down arrow key and control C to paste and let's head over to SQL Server and control V. Now I need to terminate this statement by using semicolon and let's scroll up and see if there's any error or potential error. Okay, so let's go through it again. Insert statements want to insert into this data table and the columns are ID, order date, payment, account managers column, brand, unit, price, and the total column. Now we can select downwards and then we can execute. And we believe that these values would have been inserted into the table. So click on execute and we can see 300 rows affected 
and that means it's working pretty fine so we can use select all statement from sales data table to verify so click on execute and that's beautiful let's filter the data to see the account managers that equals to corner really bad and total that is greater than or equal to a thousand one hundred thousand so i'm going to say select okay come here select star from sales data table where account manager equal um i can paste corner really bad and total is greater than or equal to one zero 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 and we can execute this query and see the result wonderful we have 28 rows 28 rows of data set for account manager that equals to common really base with a total that is equal to or greater than a hundred thousand so this is basically how we can create and insert values into Microsoft SQL Server table from Excel data set. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.